This is the classic Tollens test, where we can test chemically for something called a reducing sugar. So I've got dextrose here, and dextrose is a reducing sugar because it can act as a reducing agent. It itself gets oxidized, which means it loses electrons. It can push its electrons onto the silver plus ions that are right here. And if the silver plus ions gain electrons, they'll become silver zero. And anytime you have a metal becoming a zero charge, it becomes the solid form of that metal. And we're trying to put solid silver onto this container, starting with silver ions in solution. So from a solution of silver ions, I'm going to make solid silver plate on here because I have a reducing agent and an oxidizing agent that will pass electrons from the sugar to the silver. Okay, so reducing sugars. And there's many types, and dextrose is one of them. So let's do this reaction. So I'm going to start with my reducing sugar, my reducer, okay, which is the, um, the reducing agent. Okay, it's a place where electrons are going to be transferred to the silver ions. And then I'm going to add a hydroxide. It's going to be happening in a basic environment if you balance chemical uh, uh, redox reactions. And now I'm going to put a top on. And now what I'm going to do is shake, shake, shake. And I'm going to shake this glassware. And hopefully, if I made this, this reaction carefully, all right, we should see some plating occurring. Okay, it takes a few minutes, so I'm going to shake. And hopefully you can see a chemical reaction taking place and that solid silver appear. You see there's a reflection on my glassware already. So you can see that we're probably making a solid already. And I'm just shaking to finish this off and just spread out, make sure the surface area is appropriate for the reaction to take place. And if you can see, I think we are as good as we're going to get. And we have ourselves a silver plated, okay, Florence flask. Whereas you can actually see me waving back to you, okay, behind my video camera. There I am, and there I hide again. So, interesting enough, very, very cool demonstration of silver plating a glassware. Now, so, so Mr. Krotsky, what do you do with that? Well, I can look at it, okay, but I also could take it away. Silver, okay, is a metal doesn't react too well, so in order to take the silver off, I would need a strong, very strong oxidizing agent, okay? And if we take a look at our reduction potential tables, okay, and let's do that. So I'm going to go over here. We're looking at a reduction potential tables here. Okay. Now for me to take my pure silver, which is right here, and convert it back to silver ions, the reduction potential of silver plus to electrons, okay, is 0.8. So for silver to oxidize, it's negative 0.80. Negative voltage is non-spontaneous. So this is negative A to go this direction. So we need a chemical that's a strong enough oxidizing agent that when it goes forward, it can pull electrons from elements and be what? So positive that they can overcome this negative. Remember, silver going this way is negative. All right, so what I wanna do is compare it with an oxidizing agent on this chart. They're really good at gaining electrons or pulling electrons and forcing, okay, forcing the silver, where did it go, to go backwards and give me positive volts. Right now, this reduction, or right now, the oxidation of silver, okay, is, is, is negative 0 0.80 when I go in the opposite. But the reduction, let's say, of nitric acid is a strong enough oxidizing agent, it can force it, the electrons, or at least pull electrons away from the silver, and it's positive 0.96. So this positive 0.96 is great enough. Now I can choose 
any of these other compounds, Br2, chromium di dichromate ion, oxygen, Cl2, uh, permanganate, even hydrogen peroxide. F2, I won't want to deal with that. That's really pretty dangerous stuff. But in any case, I'm going to use nitric acid. And it going forward produces a voltage of 0.96. It's getting this ion getting reduced. Okay, so this can suck the electrons away from the silver to make this go opposite, which we would know from your class, you make it negative. So negative 86 going opposite and a positive 96 gives me a positive voltage of 0.14, which means it'll be spontaneous. So let's do that. I know it's kind of pretty, all right, but I'm going to make this happen. Now you should do this over a few minutes, okay, but very pretty flask. We're going to say bye-bye to it by adding a strong oxidizing agent, which will force, okay, electrons out of the silver into silver ions. And you can see already, maybe, put the top on, shake. This beautiful flask that was silver plated is now going back into ions. And if you look carefully, you might see a brownish red gas, and that would be NO2 being produced. But we've got some gas in here. And all I gotta do is wash this out, and our flask is nice and clean, although mighty a little bit more. Okay, and our flask has been cleaned. 